Today we'll talk about address lists related to IP addresses of various countries. Sometimes, when working exclusively within a specific country, we may want to allow access to our resources only from that country. Alternatively, we might set up a firewall that permits access for our users to resources located in our country and, conversely, restrict access from specific countries. For instance, it's unlikely that a website relevant in Latvia would be communicating with Africa. In the global landscape, cyber attacks often originate from jurisdictions of other countries. Therefore, when configuring such settings, we can use publicly available databases of IP addresses to generate address lists that either allow or deny access to our resources. One such website is microtikconfig.com, where you can generate address lists specifically in Mikrotik format. This tool will help you create some basic firewalls for Mikrotik routers as well as a standalone address list that you can use with your own custom rules to block certain countries. Of course, other resources can be utilized. But I am providing this website as an example. Let's, for instance, generate an address list only with Latvian addresses, and there we have it. We can open it in a text editor, a fairly extensive address list. Now, let's export it to our operating system. Import the address list, and wait for some time. Always assess the available memory because in this case, I'm using a router with limited resources, and my memory is almost full. After closing this address list, it's important to use it on more powerful devices with sufficient RAM and flash memory. So, we have loaded a large address list. What do we know? Our resources are relevant only for Latvia. However, in this situation, strange nuances might occur. Some of your clients may face issues, or someone might be accidentally blocked because assessing addresses and their belonging to a particular country is somewhat conditional. Sometimes, certain subnets are located in other countries, or someone might use a VPN in another country. Therefore, it's recommended to use these rules for corporate resources where you have control over your clients. For example, you know that these are your employees located in a specific country. Alternatively, you can use these rules to reduce the amount of spam hitting your mail server. For example, block China if you don't work with it. Or block another specific country or a large region. Always test and pay attention to ensure your actual clients are not included in these address lists. The distribution of addresses by country is highly conditional, and the distribution by regions within those countries is even more so. There's a methodology for determining the location of an IP address. But there are many caveats. Not all operators correctly fill in the parameters needed for region determination. Moreover, addresses are resold. So someone from Africa could easily sell a range of IP addresses to Latvia, this is not prohibited. In such cases, there will be problems with access to our resources. This concludes our overview of address lists by country. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Your support means a lot. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Until next time, take care.